again chale if today is your first time on my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share with your friends i'm sure you're wondering where this background is coming from how i am dressed guys i am <laughs> i am right here in my village called jita which is um, in keta in the volta region you know volta region is my favorite place you all say stella is always in the volta region i mean i'm here today in my village and i didn't come alone i came with my kenyan youtuber the manga from kenya Charlie. yeah you know, and you where are you here in the village today <laughs> because i just have to have that natural feeling of where i come from because i'm born and, and bred in the villages in kenya so i felt why not try the village life here in ghana and so. i'm so happy to be in stella's youtube channel please go show some love to my youtube channel d muango the link is down below and if you're from team d you know how we do it man go subscribe to her channel tell her d muango sent you here and welcome to the volta region the v the beautiful village life here in Ghana. Today, this video is going to be a usual routine in the village, how things are done here, and um, what to expect when you come to the village, village to enjoy. I mean, guys, I know definitely you're going to enjoy it. And so, with the let's go right into the video. You, 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 you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. Jita is located in the Volta region and it took us about 3 hours 30 minutes drive from Accra Mall. Let's take a short tour of how this place looks like. And this is the room and this this is made of coconut um, coconut branches and so it's detachable. You can always just cover it like this and no one will know what's in there. When you want to keep it open, just open it. Yeah. So, yeah. Welcome to my room. This is how Spacious. This is the bed. And this is the area. This is the dressing area. This is like a small kitchen. And so yeah, the reason why there is a lot of sun here is because we are very very close to the beach, which I will take you very soon. It's just a walking distance, less than a minute walk. So yeah, let's see the kitchen. So this is the kitchen area, and as you can see, this is made of um, this is a typical hut, typical village. So this is made of grass. This is made of grass. And it can and, and it can last as long as um the modern roof would also last so yeah and once it's going old you can just put more grasses on top mm -hmm. so this is how it looks this is how the kitchen looks you can actually prepare food here which is made of stones how the stones looks like or this which is made of clay it's made of clay so you just put a little firewood this is how the firewood looks like this is how the firewood looks like and then you use a pot like this to prepare food so yeah this is basically how things are done here and um, this is also a space for chicken fowls because we have a lot of and um, i mean this is why we always eat healthy because from farm to plate look at this one here he's chilling i think he's laying eggs mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean this is how um, free you live your life, you enjoy, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have some sugarcane plants mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet after meals, after eating when you know you want something sweet, you can just cut it. It's not yet um, ready, ready. But I'm sure in the next month or two, we'll be ready for us to all consume. Yeah. And here, most of 
our source of water is um, through the well so we are going to fetch water into the from the well into our pots and that's the usual morning routine yeah. since you need water to bath you need water to, to wash dishes you need water to brush your teeth you have, yeah. you have not brushed your teeth this morning <laughs> so yeah so we are going to do that wash dishes and then maybe find something to eat and then call it a day for now come on that's you but look the best part about the village is the fact that it's very close to the sea and so when you just take a one minute walk you are getting very close to the sea this is how the environment looks like <laughs> i mean d is expecting that we are going to the river right i have a surprise for you so yeah so our source of water is from the well and so we are currently going to fetch water and we use this to carry the water yeah Here in Ghana, in the villages, not Accra, we are in a different location. So this is the well, this is where we are going to get the water from. So life here is really different, and like where I come from, we have the rivers, you know. Here, they, they have the well, the port is here. So let's get water for me. It's not very deep. and do some cleaning and life here and in Ghana yeah, is different you know because here they don't go to the rivers you know they have the wells as you've seen so let me know in the comment box what do you go where do you go and fetch water from in your villages wells or lakes or rivers let me know To clean and guys this is where they store water here in the village after getting water from the well you come and store it in so it can really accommodate it's you know lots lot. of liters of water as you see because it's huge you know <laughs> and also it makes the water to be cool, cool right? yeah so it's it's um you can drink it very cold yeah so that's like yeah chilled water uh -huh. <laughs> the breakfast is just sold within the village and right here we have what is it called? This Equate is called Equate Bemi. Equate Bemi. Yes. So it's like porridge actually. Yeah. yeah yes. It's just a brand of porridge, another version. Mm. So the, it's really hot, I wish you knew. So they just pass around, whoever wants to buy, you buy it for breakfast. So this is part of the breakfast. So, yes. so it's good for us to try. 
and this is also called kadikacha but this is more of like um the awusa koko we drink yes it's more but like this awusa koko yes this is made of millet millet pepper yeah so i mean we are going to try them both mm -hmm. and Oh, they are hot. <laughs> that one has pepper. Yeah. Yeah. You want to try it? No. Yeah. You want, ah, you don't like pepper. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's perfect for you. Um, 50 pesos. This is one CD. Yeah. One CD yeah. is because pesos. one CD because it has the milk and the sugar. Mm. Mm. Breakfast in Ghana, <laughs> in the villages. So you shake it. Huh? Still hot. Oh, with the pepper, very very nice, and, and it tastes very healthy. So smooth, so sweet. I can feel the milk taste in it. Oh my goodness, so sweet and no pepper in it. This is very good. I tasted it before, even in the northern region in Ghana. They also have another type that is like this. That, that is made of millet. Millet. And that one is the red millet. So it's very red and it's very it's very spicy. Mm -hmm. She doesn't take lots of pepper so I don't want to kill you before you get to So pillar. nice for me. <laughs> it's now time for us to wash some dishes. <laughs> to wash the dishes she's washing and rinsing so it's gonna be really easy so also here in the villages is sharing of beauty why when you have a sister like me when i have Stella, <laughs> we can do things really quick together and easy this should take us less than a minute uh, like three minutes three to minutes to finish <laughs> the dishes when you come across such you just have to feed the chicken and the fowls you see they already on let me take it somewhere so now stella is finishing up by washing the pot and this is what they used to cook here in the villages. The reason as to why it's dark as you see it's because they use firewood while cooking. It's clean now. Time to rinse it. Very clean. <laughs> So one thing about these places, because it's very sandy, which is made of sea sand, once you come here, you can wear one cloth for a very long time because you can assure yourself that it won't be dirty. It's not dusty. It's not dusty. It's just sandy. sandy. Yeah. So you know how sea sands are. You can just shake them and then you are good to, you go. Are good to go. Yeah. So if you have somebody who is very dirty, <laughs> the is going to be. Well. Yes. So we finally found our wood <laughs> yeah and this is the strongest so she's going to carry them <laughs> we are going to use to prepare atplen and fetridechi do you know atplen and fetridechi that's like gali yeah. 
and the beautiful part is my village is very close to the sea yeah The village B. Are you enjoying your time? So beautiful. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed your time with. Behind me is a sea in the Volta region. This brings us to the end of this vlog. And so another time in another episode. Peace up and oh, please show love to I really appreciate. And if you're from T uh, Team D, you know how we do it. Please go subscribe to our channel. Let's get her to 30,000.